What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and I have a review of the Spider-Man Web Chompin' Spider Rex. There he is, not in the package because me and Ultrazilla Jr. opened him up already. Hi Ultrazilla Jr. Hi. What's going on dude? Nothing. Nothing really? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you might have seen him on my live stream unboxing of everything else, but I didn't unbox him. I was gonna save him for this, but then we decided to open him up late last night anyway. Yeah. Right? Why not? All right, so there you go. Here's the box. This was first shown off in San Diego, and it's already out at Walmart. Just in case you were wondering, I got it at Walmart.com. Uh, it has been going in and out of stock, so not sure if it'll be there now. It might be. It's uh, up for pre-order in a lot of other spots as well. Um, this guy, I do have to say though, is a little pricey for what you get compared to other things no. of this, uh, like. 45 46 dollars depending on where you get it it's a little pricey i, I think um i mean it does have like sounds and stuff it has 10 different sound F sfx but i feel like these things usually go for 20 30 bucks but I, I don't know it just seems yes everything is more expensive right now but i don't know i don't know i got it because it's cool we love dinosaurs we like spider-man this is a good combo Apparently in the comics, uh, he is part of the Spider-Verse universe. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he's going to be in the next Into the Spider-Verse movie, yeah. but he is part of that universe. So. Or maybe even in a show. He could be in one of the shows. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but anywho, that's the box. There is Spider-X. Without any further ado, oh, let's get to the review. And here he is all out of the pack. I mean, he was already out of the package. Uh, but Ultra Zilla Jr. was about to say something as we were closing up. What were you going to say? We were going to talk about what? I actually think there's less sounds because, like, I think there's, like, like five. Mm, well, well, we're going we're gonna to test that theory out momentarily. But first up, there is a little bit of articulation on this guy's little arms move. Ooh. This one doesn't move that much. This one appears to move a little bit more. For whatever reason, maybe the way it's sculpted. So, uh, and then the legs do kind of move, but they're more for the action feature. The tail does not move, but you did have to put in the tail. On this side, you do have screw holes, as most of these types of toys What's do. A screw hole. Oh, for screw. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how they keep you know the two sides together on a lot of these toys. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was just completely together. After. No, no. They, you know, a lot of these toys, they, uh, you know, especially the more kid toys, they just put like that, you know. Yeah. It is what it is. But he looks pretty cool. He's an interesting uh, amalgamation of Spider-Man and yeah. a T-Rex. Also, I see his little eyes. He's got little eyes in there, as you can see. And then the spider stuff is... You know painted around now um there's been questions of whether or not this was a old jurassic world dinosaur because hasbro used to do the jurassic world line before mattel took it over what? yeah so people have been asking is this you know one of those just or painted over i don't know i never got that line of uh jurassic world toys so yeah but maybe if someone does have it they could see if they right look if, at the eyes if it's right matching. if it if it i looked at some images i didn't see a perfect match so i don't know for sure but it's possible but no, i don't know but, but then you would have to put all the effects in like spider -like. yeah well it could be there could have been something else that shot out Maybe Who knows? Like, tongue or spit. Yeah, as you hear, there. lots of sounds. Mm -hmm. um, I did want to point out though that the teeth are colored the same way that Mattel colors their teeth. That's kind of like off-white look. They do look fine, clean. You got the paint around his eyes. It looks like horse teeth. Like horse <laughs> teeth look like that, like off-white. Yeah, the rest of the face looks pretty good. He does have a little bit of a smirk to him. A little kind of smile. And he's got this little webbing, like, like spike uh, on top here, which is kind of cool looking. Wait, you know, it makes it a little unique. Do you think it would be? Oh, it's supposed to be like a T Rex. But, no. but this is, you know, 
obviously added. Yeah. Because it's uh, Spider-X. Uh, and then as you can see, he's got the like kind of like spider looking thing here. Not that much though. Yeah, it's like a spider. It's just done differently because it's... Dinosaur. It's a Jurassic spider. <gasps> oh. So it looks a little different. Um, it looks good. As you can see here, this is where you would put the batteries. Uh, sound box down here, so not much to look at at the bottom. His little arms, you know, they look okay. <laughs> the legs look pretty cool. Uh, they did separate it right here. So, you know, they did only had to... This is blue, and then this is cast in uh, red. They look good, though. Still, legs look cool. Oh, the tail? Pants. Yeah, that's pink. Yeah, uh, but you know, it's pro part of his natural color is because he's a uh, T Rex, not really pants. This part is definitely painted, as you can see. Um, you know, the, this part is painted blue, and then this part looks like it's painted red over blue, so it looks like this is done in uh, blue plastic and then painted red. See how they do it? They make one whole piece in red and then they color it blue, but on this side. Yeah. This is blue plastic, and then they colored it red oh. over it. You could tell because the red is different, and you could see the blue underneath it a little bit. And that's how you're able to tell that. But, you know, decent sculpt for what it is. Not bad. Look at it. There's a lot of detail on the leg. It looks really nice. Yeah, it looks good enough for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's I'm pretty cool. It's pretty much like, that. what? That. This is a sound box. This is where the sound oh. comes out of. Dog, like a speaker, you know? A dog came out, like, out his mouth. Oh, no. It, it appears that way, but, know. you know. But overall, I think looks-wise, uh, I think Spider-Rex looks pretty good. All right, so Ultra Zill Jr. is going to run through the sounds here. So, you could use sounds by using Make pressing it that. I would, I would definitely say there's got to be 10 different sounds there. I, I know, but some sounds um, sound a little bit familiar, familiar to another toy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these sound toys, you know, kind of sound the same. We're going to compare it to uh, a different one shortly. But let's do the other thing it comes with. The spider webs. These uh, little spider web missiles. And put it in his mouth. Like so you could press it like this is a little tough to do no i found okay. out a good way how to do it yeah. you could do that uh-huh whoa oh my uh, let's, let's do it again and try to shoot out the wall so or let's shoot it at somebody a spider enemy Ooh. wait do you think there's a venom there is a Venom T-Rex in a different series, so, so, uh, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna press this back button here. Yeah. Oh, totally shot over his head. You have one of the other ones? Let me see. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's try it again. See if we could knock down Venom. Aww. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that. Let's see. Because then you still have to make it go backwards. It doesn't press automatically. The feet have to lunge forward. Oh, I keep shooting it over his head. I know. He's like a little taller. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready, guys? What? Why can't I? <laughs> He's literally. It went through his arm. I know, it did. Oh my gosh. Come on. 
There we go. <laughs> Speaking of Venom, here's Venom and a couple of other Spider-Men uh, you might have in your collection as a comparison. And I think it actually, you know, it's it's pretty good. I I I think if it was real, I think um, this the T Rex would be a lot bigger, right? Wait, what do you mean by that? Like if it was really in scale, I think T Rex would be bigger. But it could be a teen t-rex right a teenager teen uh t-rex and so it might be smaller it probably is because it's peter parker so maybe yeah it could be yeah. the, the sizing could be okay uh you guys let me know if uh you know spider rex in the comics is bigger than this or not i haven't really seen too much if he's crossed over with the other Wait, spider man no it's in the comics uh and here's Spider-X with a uh, Hammond Collection Dinosaur, the Triceratops, so you can see how they scale. And I think actually they scale pretty good together. I know. This is a lot closer because, see, this line is in the 118th scale of figures, and um, they look pretty good, even though the the T-Rex yeah. from this line is huge compared. So he definitely would be a younger T-Rex for sure. And finally, here's one more uh, size comparison, and this is a, with a Power Rangers. Which one? Is this Dino Fury? Dino Fury, right? Yeah. Uh, also, T Rex. Uh, what I was saying about the sounds, it, it sounded like his. Sound. Right, so, you know, that's what I, I was saying too. They're very, you know, it's kind of similar. Hey, you do that one, I'll do this one. And we'll annoy everybody. Doesn't this guy make other sounds? How does he cough? You keep it up. Actually. Yeah, keep it up for a long time. Oh yeah. He does. He also does that. I, which I can't even remember if we ever did in the review back in the. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You perfect. I think we did, but anywho, this is what I was saying. This this guy is was much cheaper than this guy, and he does a lot more. Yeah. So what ha the you know cost of making these things gets so so crazy expensive to to get this to like forty five bucks when this was like thirty bucks maybe twenty five thirty bucks. This is to me this is the better toy, I know. right? You agree? Yeah. It just does so much more. So I I, don't, I like this guy a lot, but I mean, price wise, man, craziness. And our final thoughts, you know, like I said, besides the price, I think this is really fun. Um, I think it's a really, really cool piece. You might want to wait for maybe a price drop. You know, if you, if you could wait on this, uh, and I think you could wait on this, honestly, but uh, it's, it's a cool piece. I'm glad we bought it because I, we really like dinosaurs. We like Spider-Man. This yeah. was a cool, uh, crazy idea. So. Also, the like the feet and claws. Look at the feet and claws look good. Yeah. That's the reason to get it. I guess. <laughs> also, the little hands. The little hands, sure. Um, yeah, I mean the sculpt is good. Is basically what Old Brazil Junior is saying. The sculpt is good. Uh, and it looks cool as a, as a Spido a Dino Rex, Spider Rex. So there you go, guys. That's our review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And please like, comment, subscribe, share. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.